The controversial migrant tent camp in Brighton Park moves forward following the results of an environmental review. CBS 2's Sarah Maki is there now with a live look at the progress. Sarah, where do things stand? Well, Dave, you mentioned the controversy surrounding this site. Just at the edge of the property, there is this small tent. This is where a lot of the protests have really centered. It is empty right now. A lot of the people who oppose this leaving behind their messages, though, speaking for them in their absence. No doubt some of the people who had been out here hoping that environmental review would put a permanent stop to the city's plan for a massive tent shelter. But do take a look behind where we are. And the once empty lot at 38th in California now has white peaks peeking out from above a privacy fence. This is what it looks like when they're doing the work inside. You can see the way that some workers are putting up the wall to the structure by sliding large pieces into place. Now the environmental review has showed some issues. The city outlining their plan moving forward. The city has said soil with mercury contamination was found at one spot on the site. Soil they have removed and disposed of in a landfill. The city also adding soil with a high level of a semi-volatile compound was also found on the site and will be removed. To add further protection, crews have been adding a minimum six inch barrier of crushed clean stone to the surface of this site. Now we spoke with one neighbor who was coming by about these developments. I just really want them to be warm. I mean, I just feel so bad for these people outside in this weather. It's really terrible and they're not gonna harm anyone. They just want to be safe and have somewhere to sleep. The city has said that periodic monitoring will continue here. They need to make sure that that six inch barrier stays at least six inches. The city also working on a second migrant tent site, that one in Morgan Park. But in Brighton Park tonight, Sarah Maki, CBS 2 News. Sarah, thank you.